we begin an occasional series tonight about what's at stake for the future of TV. So well, let me start off by making the, uh, the obvious observation that digital is taking over. It is inheriting the earth. Five years ago, this was controversial. Now it is happening. People sitting in front of cable boxes is over. Your kids are never going to have one. It's the shittiest piece of hardware in your house. This is very much a generational shift. And over the next 10 to 20 years, it seems very unlikely that my daughters and that generation are going to suddenly develop a desire to go watch linear television. It's the product of a monopoly. It doesn't hold a candle to an iPad or an Android device. It's over. We can debate whether it's over for five or seven years, but it's over. Consumers stream video from online subscription services like Netflix, Amazon, and Hulu, which increasingly are creating their own shows. By one estimate, the online video market attracts an average of 75 million viewers every day and streams nearly 40 billion videos each month in the U.S. Oh. alone. We're living in a post-TV era. TV is over. There's a few people in the audience who probably are un unhappy to hear that, who work for mixed digital television companies, but for most of us, this is fucking incredible. In fact, the future of TV increasingly doesn't even involve a TV, as more people turn to cell phones, tablets, and laptops to view content. But new companies are starting to threaten media veterans like Comcast and their service models. This is such an amazing opening for all of us. The numbers are the numbers, the facts are the facts, and yet people remain in denial, largely because they have large amounts of money to stay in denial or to pretend that they're in denial. Is, is cable and satellite TV dead? No. no. Uh, well, is it dying? Yes, okay. very much so. Yeah, we seem to think so. With the I have a seven and an eight year old. They're never getting a cable box. For those of you who have children graduating college, none of them are gonna go do household formation now and get that piece of crap. What we see are all of the big OTT digital networks growing incredibly rapidly. I would argue that these are simply modern TV networks. They're what TV networks would be if you were to design them from the ground up today. And in fact, the linear television concept, while very convenient and useful for 60 to 70 years, is now archaic and not as, as flexible and convenient. And really when you get to it, that is why modern TV networks are winning. It's because they're a better product. We can watch what we want to watch, whenever we want to watch it, wherever we want to watch it on any screen. It's much more convenient. It's over. And here are the numbers. Every time I show, you guys, you guys should go now, whoa, everyone go, whoa. Every time I show these numbers, people are surprised by these numbers. It's like I made these numbers up or there's some sort of secret. They're not a secret. These are the facts. We're killing ourselves to give these advertisers billions and gajillions and magillions of video views. Meanwhile, their peak audiences in the demo are less than 40,000 people in some cases, and some of these guys are doing billions of dollars a year in revenue. We gotta tell these advertisers what's going on. We gotta just tell them the truth.